So you guys are probably aware of the amount of content creators that are uploading uh, early access footage of Hogwarts Legacy. Many content creators, a couple of my pals actually, got two hours hands on with the game. They got to create a character, they got to explore Hogwarts and they got to take part in a later uh, level 19 mission where they got access to spells and they could test that combat out properly. Now to of no surprise, 99% of the videos I have watched and I've probably watched a good 60 to 80% of them, the publishers are blowing smoke up the game's behind. That's not to say the game isn't going to be fantastic, like we are all hoping it's going to be, but I was really hoping to see a little more criticism in regards to some of the negatives. Because as good as it looks flying around Hogwarts and exploring the open world, there are actually a few skeptical voices out there that have criticised a few instances of the gameplay and that's what we're going to go through today people i'll share with you what i have found heard and seen from fellow content creators who will say how it is now i just want to say guys i am absolutely hyped for this game i cannot wait to play and cover it on my channel but in saying that when i'm looking at early access reviews i want to hear about both sides of the spectrum not just the positives Okay, so I ain't going to drop anybody in the shite. I'm just going to reference what I've heard in regards to a few critical points, which I feel you guys will probably want to know about. Okay, so I've seen and heard from a couple of sources now that the movement of the playable character does feel a little clunky. A lot like a minor input delay in regards to moving, stopping, turning back on yourself. It's like the character has no weight to them, which isn't the be all and end all. But it's good to actually hear this because I've heard nobody else mention this. Also, what I've heard as well, guys, is the broom controls in those tight spaces are extremely clunky. Now, I know we've all heard that broom flying uh, in and around Hogwarts, as well as in the open world, is absolutely amazing and feels great. But in those tighter spaces, it is said to feel a lot more clunky, which to be honest, you would expect because this is a broom here. This isn't a Formula One car. Another thing I've heard said actually a couple of times now is the open world seems relatively empty with little interactions. Now, this is actually one fear I had. I didn't expect it because the open world map isn't as big as other games out there. I thought there's going to cram a lot into it. I mean, we've seen instances where there's things going on off you with like animals attacking each other, beasts attacking each other, this and the other. But I have heard from a few people that have played this that is a little to barely any interaction. There's also, guys, no NPC night and day cycle. What this means is, I don't know if you guys have ever played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, where NPCs will actually do things throughout the day, basically live their own lives. In Hogwarts Legacy, that is definitely not the case. So besides basically being an NPC to assist you, there's no other role that they play in regards to, I don't know, running around the castle, doing their own thing. There's nothing of that nature. Another thing I saw, and which was pointed out by a German gaming magazine called GameStar, is the fact that NPCs within these quests are absolutely static. So what they will do is they will stand completely still, lifeless in the background until you get close to them. Now this isn't something that happens 100% of the time, but it is a regular occurrence. Another instance I've heard people mention about is the story mission that they played was extremely linear. Now I won't lie to you guys, I actually expected nothing different in regards to side quests and the main story quest. But from what I've seen and what I've seen other people have expected, again, I hate to make the comparison, but people are trying to compare this to Elden Ring. It's just a big no-no. Another major issue I've seen a few people talk about as well, and I've actually witnessed this myself via gameplay, I think it was on the PS5 I was watching, was extreme levels of texture popping. Some instances where NPCs were loading right in front of you, which isn't a good sign in my opinion. Now, as the days go on, I'm at no doubt we will see more and more gameplay come live on uh, especially YouTube. And I hope to hear a few more opinionated voices. Now, in regards to the game itself and what I've seen from these gameplays, the graphics, the atmosphere, the flight system, the day and night cycles, the spells, the secrets all look absolutely amazing. And even with the slight negativity that I have heard, I'm still super, super hyped 
for this game. Now we've still got an absolute ton to learn. Uh, the content creators that got early access were extremely limited in what they could do. They couldn't explore most menus. They couldn't look at talent trees, collectibles, things of this nature. So all in all guys, I am still extremely hyped for this game. Now if you have watched any of the gameplay from my fellow content creators, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you still as hyped as I am? Let me know. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.